Davey from Stumble Pinball here uh, to talk about speaker lights, pinball speaker lights, which you can see uh, just in the background, just here on my uh, creature from the Black Lagoon. Um, now, today we're going to talk about speaker lights and how to make them uh, more interactive with the game by making them uh, mode aware. Now, what do I mean by mode aware? Um, well, for me, this is uh, something uh, in mod making, in pinball mod making, that I really try and strive for, to make the mod uh, responsive to in-game events uh, um, and, and what's going on in the actual game. I feel like uh, being able to do that uh, integrates the mod uh, a lot more into what's going on in the game and just creates a better uh, experience for the player as a, as a result. Um, so there's various ways of making a mod mode aware to understand what's going on in the pinball machine. Uh, a few of you might have seen a video that I posted uh, around a month ago about a mod that I've been developing called the Pinpoint. Uh, that particular mod um, sits uh, you know, within the boards of the back box and listens to the sounds uh, that are going on in the game and then uh, does certain things based on what sounds are playing. Um, today we're going to be taking a different approach. We're going to be using the, the pin to DMD, which is uh, the screen here that you can see playing the graphics. Uh, we're going to be using the data coming out of the pin to DMD in order to uh, drive events to uh, the speak lights. Okay, so let's get stuck right in. Uh, first of all, I'm going to open up the back box uh, and show you uh, how I've connected things uh, back here. Just give me two seconds while I take off the back glass. Pull down the pin to DMD. I'll just change, change cameras here for a second. Okay, here we go. Right now, here you can see the back of the pin to DMD. Uh, we've got the the speaker lights themselves sitting behind, uh, or sorry, in front of the speakers here. Uh, that's two LED strips um, sitting within a, a diffuser bracket. And they're then connected up to uh, a, a Lolly GI, which is a variant of my Lollipops board, um, which is managing uh, the, the colours and the patterns and things. Um, now, the interesting part of all this is the connection uh, point to the pin to DMD. Now, you can see a single cable here running from the TX pin um, of the uh, RS232. Uh, uh, communication output that's just like a general serial output um, but it's just a single cable running from the TX pin of the pin to DMD into the RX pin of the device um, that I'm using to drive the speaker lights that's it that's the only communication uh, between these two things and that single cable will carry all the information that we need now just one moment um, while I I'll just uh, Back up again. Shoes back on. Hello, Godzilla. That's right, I'm not wearing shoes. Like all good developers. Okay, now um, the other uh, the other thing uh, worth mentioning, uh, and I'll just show you this setting as well. The other thing worth mentioning is for the pin to DM. Oh, creatures now talking to me. The other thing to mention is before the pin to DMD will send any information uh, out that uh, TX pin. Uh, we have to configure a certain setting in the menus. Uh, this particular setting is called debug hash. It needs to be turned on. This is a feature, I think, of the very latest or one of the latest uh, pin to DMD firmwares. Um, and with that setting turned on, then all of the scene information that's coming out of the pin to DMD will then be sent out that pin. And by scene, uh, I mean um, these... Uh, particular animations that are playing on the screen. Each one of those has an individual code that the colorists uh, of these uh, screens use to then do their colorizations. We're going to be using that code to then trigger uh, 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 patterns uh, on the speaker lights. Right, so let's, uh, let's get into it over here. Now, the Lollipops board is uh, Wi-Fi capable. Um, so the first thing... Uh, First thing I'm going to do is hook into um, uh, the Wi-Fi of the device so I can configure it. So I'll just let that load and I'll just pull up the, the uh, config screen. 
Okay, now for anybody not familiar with the lollipops, um, this, uh, this configuration screen that you see here is what we can use to modify the colours and the patterns of the speaker lights. I'll just give you an example. If we want to just change the, uh, the basic uh, colour of the, uh, of the speaker lights, we can do it just by uh, selecting the colour wheel here. We'll change it to green, change them to yellow, change them to red, change them to blue, etc, etc. Um, there's various other things we can do, like set up the sensor things. I won't get too uh, deep into that because um, that's not what I want to cover in this demo. The, the, um, the interesting part is uh, what, what we're listening to from the pin to DMD. Um, now you can see in the background when the scene changes, a new event gets raised in this event section here. Now every one of these scenes will have one of these uh, event codes. You can see uh, it's, a, it's, a, um, it's a hexadecimal. 8 byte code um, and each one of these will be unique according to the scene that's currently playing on the pin to DMD at any one particular time. Um, now what I'll do is I'll try and pull up a particular scene that we can easily remember um, so that I can um, uh, you know, set up a, a trigger for it. Now um, for anybody who did watch the uh, uh, pinpoint demo the other day you'll recognize um, this particular section here. Um, because it's a direct representation of what the pinpoint was doing. The pinpoint was listening to sounds. Uh, so here we go. Let's uh, we'll take the universal one here, and uh, we'll ch change it to red and play. Uh, let's say pattern two. Um, we'll play we'll, that dot motion one. We'll play a particular pattern there in a different color, um, and we'll just take a bunch of these. Uh, we'll take a bunch of these um, scenes and we'll set up triggers for them just so that on the next time it iterates through those scenes you'll be able to see exactly what's happening. Okay so we'll take that slippy fishy one, change that as well to pattern six, take the game over one, change that to a nice red uh, and then here we go so universal you can see the colors change then uh, and we'll take the creature from the Black Lagoon as well, obviously, make him green. Now we should start seeing patterns coming up every time those scenes uh, play. And you can also see uh, in the event section, it'll tell us, it'll give us some kind of indication when a particular scene has triggered uh, uh, one of these watches over here. Um, so once this, this is a really long scene, which is why you can't see it. So we'll take him as well change and you can see here that the uh, the event triggered a certain number of events over on the speaker lights. Now I'm just showing you uh, just a very basic uh, implementation uh, and I'm not paying too much attention to the colorization or the patterns that I'm using but these patterns and the colors can be whatever you like and the idea would be um, that you'd modify these um, these patterns and these colors to suit the uh, particular mode that the game was in at any time. So uh, if uh, the multi-ball scene came up, uh, we might want to do sort of a very quick flashing pattern to sort of increase the tension of the game at that particular time. Um, uh, but you know, the possibilities of it uh, really are endless. Um, so yeah, this is a really exciting development for lollipops. Um, and and uh, the fantastic thing is it's going to require, um, for, for people who already have uh, one of my, uh, this is the, the HD pin to DMD that you see here, for anybody who has one of my HD pin to DMD, well, not mine, the ones that I build, the HD pin to DMDs that I build, uh, with the lollipops um, uh, board inside of it, um, all, you'll, all, all uh, you'll need to do in order to, uh, to implement this functionality is to uh, to update the firmware on both devices and to create that connection cable between those two things. And once you've done that, then all of this uh, configuration that you see here will then become available to you for free. Uh, likewise, if you want to get this set up on your existing uh, pin to DMD, uh, even if it's not an HD one, but it's one that you have already, um, you know, and you want to pick up one of my Lollipops boards so that you can um, create the, the patterns in these events and watches so that you can set up um, your own uh, configurations, then, then you can do that as well. Um, 
all of these uh, watches and configurations for a particular game can be exported and imported. So if, uh, so if a person creates a really interesting one for uh, Twilight Zone or Monster Bash or a particular game, they can release it, uh, they can release that configuration to anybody else with that game who can then import and have that exact same speaker lights set up. Um, yeah, so hopefully there should be a lot of interesting uh, avenues for people to explore, and I hope you've uh, enjoyed the demo. All right, thanks very much.